was living in an environment where all of his basic needs were met, at least from the outside perspective. Um, he had a roof, he had food, he had support, he had people that he had grown up with, he had family. And then life kind of changed for Stephen and took gears. Um, some choices were made that weren't his. And things happened that led him to be assessed, referred, and admitted to Jamestown Group Home. Voluntarily, I must say. My name is Lindsay Robertson, and I am the Group Home Manager for Jamestown Group Home. I am, my name is Stephen Paulson. I, I was living with my dad, so, and he was kind of a jerk, but he wanted to kick us out, and then I had to move into a group home. Um, I think that Stephen's journey to the group home is a blessing in disguise because... It wasn't the most opportune or ideal situation for him to move from where he was and happy to a group home with maybe six other people that you don't know, um, staff that might be pestering you or prompting you to do things that are outside of your normal routine. He can now, I can say, upkeep an apartment and live independently. He might require some prompting and some support from his case management team, but he demonstrated, he practiced, and he kind of mastered the skills. Here's what I learned from being in a group home is people are really nice. The other skills I developed were cooking skills and cleaning. For most people, if you're living independently or with your family or in a happy environment that doesn't require structure like the group home, um, you would want to stay there. Stephen may have never lived independently on his own if he remained living with his family. I don't know if he would have had that opportunity. Stephen moving to Jamestown gave him the opportunity to work on his independent living skills, to see what he's capable of, capable of, to foster relationships with his peers and build a support system outside of the family unit, and for him to now have an apartment that he can live at on his own. The feelings that I got when I was moving into my own apartment were exciting and happy. What's so great is that Stephen has moved from one of our group homes to a Goodwill owned and managed apartment building in which he will be independent and we will see and watch him grow. I think the, the biggest victory for Stephen, Stephen's progress while at Jamestown would be that ultimately he got what he wanted and set the goal and got the apartment um, and now is living independently in um, supportive, um, supportive apartments through Goodwill, which is awesome. That's what we try to do here is if residents come in and they develop those skills, we want them to be able to live in the apartments that we have. Having my own apartment is, I uh, feel safe and secure. The biggest way that we provided support at Jamestown Group Home was providing him a safe and secure place for him to develop new skills so that he could move out. Um, we gave him a space where he could be independent, where he could learn and grow. We gave him motivation. Um, we pushed him. We told him when things weren't right. And sometimes you don't want to hear those things, but those are things that molded Stephen into the man that got his own apartment. Having my own own apartment, I feel towards it really good, and living independently is really good, and t teaching me how to grow as an independent youth.